Hi, I'm Donna Riani with Beachside Bites, and I'm on the south side of Lincoln City in front of the Bay House. Come with me. I'm Donna Riani and this is Beachside Bites and with me today is Scotch Graves, the sous chef from the Bay House and Mary Jolie from Willamette Valley Vineyards. Welcome. Thank you. All right, Scotch, I get asked all the time about cooking with wine. What's something you can tell our viewers? Well, Donna, that's a very complex question, but I believe cooking with a fine wine enhances the flavor of the dish. I agree, and we're so fortunate here in the Pacific Northwest to produce some of the most world-class Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays that pair beautifully with our local cuisine. Well, let's head back to the Culinary Center and prepare a white wine apple sorbet. That sounds delicious. Mary, will you provide the wine? Absolutely. Let's do it. Cheers. All right, welcome to Beachside Bites, and thank you both for joining me. All right, Scott, you're going to make a beautiful sorbet for us with some white wine. But before we get into that, I have to ask you a question. If you are cooking with wine, would you use a really expensive bottle, like a two, three, four hundred dollar bottle of wine? No, absolutely not. I would actually reserve that for the drinking part. And uh, I would go for more mid-level wine. I agree. At Willamette Valley Vineyards, one of our Pinot Noirs is called Whole Cluster. And it's a very fruit-driven Pinot Noir. And that is what we use for the base for our berry barbecue sauce that we braise our short ribs in. It's delicious. It brings out a lot of fruit-driven qualities um, when you reduce down the wine. All right, now I have to ask you a question. Is it true that when you cook with wine, you cook out all the alcohol? Uh, absolutely not. There's always a residual amount of alcohol left over, uh, no matter how much you reduce it down. All right, see, that's good to know. That's a huge fallacy, and it's good to get that cleared up. All right, I'm going to go grab that beautiful sorbet you made and tell us how you made it. Well, I just put, basically took Willamette Valley Vineyard Chardonnay and I poached Hood River apples with glucose, granulated sugar, and spun it in the Paco Jet. What's a Paco Jet? Paco Jet is a Swiss made machine that shaves ice, also compresses air into it. Interesting. Why use the, the Paco Jet? You get a more aerated sorbet, and I thought it would respect the uh, white wine apple sorbet rather than just churning it in a standard device. That's amazing. Yeah. How would you plate this up? Some of those beautiful apple chips. I love that. That's beautiful. And Mary, you brought that beautiful Chardonnay to go in there. Do you yes, want to tell I us did. a little bit about that? Absolutely. Um, Willamette Valley Vineyards makes a sister Chardonnay to go with each one of our Pinot Noirs. And you know, it's pretty exciting. Oregon is known for their Pinot Noirs, and now they're really getting to showcase the Chardonnays that also do so well here. Uh, it's because of our cool climate that we're able to produce some very elegant, silky style Chardonnays with bright fruit and very lively acidity. And that's why it pairs so well with your foods, Chef. Oh, I can't wait to try it. All right, do we have any questions? Is your Chardonnay oaked? Actually, we don't want to overtly oak it. We also don't give it that, um, what's called a malolactic fermentation to give it a real buttery sense. So we're really just letting the fruit and the lively acidity express itself. We're not trying to mask it. It seems like uh, the Chardonnay is very clean and it's very crisp. It is. It's a very clean, well-balanced, and I think that's a sign of a good wine is when you do have the, all the elements, you know, the complexities, the mineralities in the soil, the, the bright acid, great fruit on it, but they all come together seamlessly and that creates a very well-balanced, well-made wine. We call that integration when it's done so perfectly. I can respect that. Wow, well, thank you both so much for joining me today. I mean, this has been a great learning process for me. And thank you all so much for joining us, and we'll see you again on the next Beachside Bites. <laughs>